Hi everyone, I'm Madhura. You are watching madhurasrecipe.com. Today I am making anta biryani. And to start, we need to take a cup of long grain basmati rice. And here I have rinsed this under cold water around two to three times. And then we need to soak it in enough water. And here I'm gonna keep it in water for about 30 minutes. Now I will just keep this aside. Now next, we'll start with making a biryani. And for that you need to heat pan over medium heat and to that we'll add a tablespoon of oil. That's enough. Now let the oil become hot and oil looks nice and hot. Now we'll go ahead and add cumin seeds, about a teaspoon and let that scissor. Then goes in whole gram spices, bay leaf, two black cardamom, then five cloves, five black peppercorn, one javi tree, and few cinnamon sticks. And give that a stir. And as soon as you see this whole my spices start to pop up, we'll add in finely chopped onion in that. And saute this onion till the time they get very light golden color. And that looks good. You can see the onion has got little browning around its edges. It took me just about 4 minutes. Now we will go ahead and season this up with some ginger garlic paste. After ginger garlic paste we will add turmeric powder. And after that add in coriander powder. Give that a stir and let this cook for two more minutes. And here onion is cooked with all spices for two minutes. I will add in yogurt. Give that a mix. And next we'll add chopped green chili, then red chili powder. Garam masala, biryani masala, and coriander leaves, and some chopped mint leaves, and mix it everything together. And here everything is combined very well. That's looking super. Now we'll add in this soaked and drained rice into this gravy. Give that a mix. And now add water in that. Also add salt. And give that a stir. And bring this to a boil over high heat. And it has come to a boil. Now we will put the lid on. Load on heat to the medium and cook this for 2 more minutes. And after 2 minutes of cooking, you will see most of the water has been absorbed by the rice. And load on the heat to the lowest possible setting. And let this simmer for next 15 minutes. And while that's happening, uh, here I'm gonna roast some eggs along with some spices. So I have taken 6 boiled eggs. And I have made little cut from all the sides over these eggs because uh, I'm gonna roast these eggs in some oil along with some spices and uh, these lids will help eggs to absorb most of the flavors from the spices. So here I have a teaspoon of hot oil into pan and in that I will slide down all these boiled eggs. Give that a mix. So that the eggs will coat with the oil and we'll roast this over medium heat for two to three minutes and here this egg has started to get good golden browning from all the sides now at this point of time i will go ahead and season this up with some chili powder then i'm also adding biryani masala and some salt 
Give that one more toss and cook for two more minutes. And here this eggs are done cooking and you can see that it has got very nice and good coating of this all masala that looks wonderful. Now here rice is also done cooking. Now we'll open the lid. That looks perfect. Now we'll add this masala eggs in that. And with the help of fork, we'll gently flop this rice and slide the eggs down the rice. Now we'll add some saffron water for flavoring. And additionally, I'm going to add some biryani masala. That's for just extra kick. And some more coriander leaves. This one is also for extra flavoring. Some mint leaves. And some fried onions. And of course, 2 to 3 tablespoon of homemade ghee. And we will continue to simmer this over low heat for next 10 more minutes. Now generally whenever you cook uh, basmati rice, you use double the amount of water. That means for a cup of rice, you take 2 cups of water. But for today's recipe, for a cup of basmati rice, I have used just 1 and quarter cup of water. Since we have used half cup of yogurt in making masala, so we are getting that extra half or uh, three quarter cups of moisture from the yogurt. And this egg biryani has been simmering for 10 minutes. It's a time to take a look. Wow. That's ready to plate. Look at that. This rice is beautifully cooked. And this anta biryani or egg biryani looks super delicious. This can be served with some raita on the side. If you want this recipe or my any other recipe, please visit my website that is www.madhurasrecipe.com. Thank you.